guys, I'm back right here, part four of my Google Analytics series. Um, in this video, we want to talk about goals and um, what goals are, why we set up goals, Google Analytics, um, how they help us to uh, increase our conversions, to increase our sales, things like this, increasing leads. Um, so basically, a goal in Google Analytics is just something we want our visitors to do. So let's say right here, I create. I simply for these tutorials, I created this new goal. Um, I mostly set up goals in my e-commerce sites and stuff like this. So um, where I will have, I would have a lot of more completions right here. But I just set it up. So yeah, um, this goal I call it contact me. So basically, this means I want to. I want to see uh, which traffic source right here brings me the most visitors that are interested in contacting me. So, and as you can see right here, I got three completions. Uh, two of them came from Facebook and one of them came from Google, which means that, um, of course, in this in this case, this would not be like real rep a representative number because I only had four visitors from, from Facebook and they just happened to be the ones who filled out that, that, that uh, contact me. Maybe if I had 100, 100 visitors, uh, maybe only only four of them, which also would be a pretty nice rate, though, would fill it out. But yeah, so we, we see Facebook and Google. So um, and you can see the, the, the conversion rate of the goal is, uh, in this case, 0 0.54%, uh, which means that 0 0.54% of all the people coming from Google will eventually fill out a form to contact me. And in this case, uh, with Facebook, 50%, which again, of course, is not a real, uh, you can't take this serious because it's just for visitors. Yeah, you, you get, get the idea. So how do I actually set up goals in Google Analytics? Um, well, you just go to admin. And as you can see right here, you can find goals under all website data, goals. And there you can see the goal I created. And just for this tutorial, I will show you how to create a new goal. So you just click new goal. You don't want to use a template. You could if you would, but I always go for a custom one. Continue. Then you just name it. In this case, it was uh, contact me. And then uh, what you have to do is you have to go to your actual site. And um, you have to, if you work with, so you have a, a few uh, um, uh, types right here. You can choose a destination, duration, page screens, procession, event. The easiest thing is just to make uh, to make a uh, set a, a destination right here. So click destination, and then you just have to fill out uh, the. You just have to put in the URL right here, uh, where you want people to land on. In this case, if they want to contact me, they have to go to contact me. So I copied this URL, put it here, equals to, you can actually choose between equals to begins with regular expression. Equals to means that it, it's only this exact same URL. So what happens, what we're doing right here is basically we track all the people who actually go to this URL right here. And if they go to this URL, it means they are interested in contacting us. If we want to actually, this of course doesn't mean that they actually contact us because they could be on this site and be on this page and then just leave without contacting me, right? But I just wanted to track the people who are interested in basically contacting me. If I wanted to track if they actually contacted me, I could simply, uh, after this click send, I could let it, uh, uh, could, them, could let them redirect to a different landing page and uh, could use this page right here and track if they successfully submitted a, a, a contact form, things like this. Okay, here you could actually assign a value, a monetary value to this kind of goal. But in this case, of course, it doesn't really make sense. It only, it, it does make sense in e-commerce, of course, but uh, in this case, not. And um, then you would click save and then you're basically set. So... Yeah, the goals are pretty much like, it's something that I found out too late, but it's pretty much something uh, that is really, really important if you want to, because if you want to really analyze your, your traffic 
um, and want to really know like where the traffic is coming from that brings you the most sales. Because guys, I had e-commerce sites uh, where I thought one traffic uh, source was like really booming, was like really great. But in reality, though, it was a, a very, it was a very different traffic source that actually bring me all all the sales. So and if, if most people they kind of fail to to realize they they kind of like don't go deeply in the, into their analytics and and realize where exactly all of their conversions from which direct traffic source come from. So um, I really hope you like this this uh, tutorial. Um, Okay, really hope you like this tutorial. Um, be sure to check the next part. Link is in the description. Um, yeah, see you soon.